गुड मॉर्निंग माझी आवाज येत आहे का येत असेल हँड्स अप करा येत आहे व्हेरी गुड विशाल बाकी सर्वांना येत आहे ओके हे सांगितलं आहे इंटेलेक्च्युअल प्रॉपर्टी राईट्स दोन गोष्ट आहे तुमच्यापैकी किती लोकांना माहिती आहे की इंटेलेक्च्युअल प्रॉपर्टी राईट्स काय असत हु ऑल नोज दॅट जे लोकांना माहिती असेल हँड्स अप करा ना रिमेंबर वन थिंग intellectual property right is actually very essential for everybody whether you are a scientist you are a normal person you are working somewhere you are a writer you are an actor whoever it is it is extremely essential to everybody and uh, you know asian college has arranged for this especially for you so that you also know ki what is intellectual property rights ha ek thoda confusion nako gaya की प्रॉपर्टी म्हणजे माझ्या बँगलो आहे किंवा माझी बिल्डिंग आहे किंवा माझ्या लँड आहे नो 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 दॅट इज अ प्रॉपर्टी दॅट इज अ ट्रेडिशनल प्रॉपर्टी इंटेलेक्च्युअल प्रॉपर्टी इज वॉट हिअर व्हॉट एव्हर यू क्रिएट बाय युझिंग युअर ब्रेन इट मे बी तुम्ही काही आविष्कार केला असेल किंवा तुम्ही एक नवीन पुस्तक लिहिली आहे जे कोणी आतापर्यंत ज्या टॉपिक वर लिहिली नसेल या आपने कुछ एक नया प्लांट डेव्हलप किया आहे झाड डेव्हलप किया आहे कुठ बी आपने किया आहे अँड यू वॉन्ट टू प्रोटेक्ट दॅट now what is that protection kay hota hai tumhi ek avishkar kela now anybody can copy that tumhi bahar market madhe ghun gele tala tar anybody can copy that so government all over the world has given you some rights to protect your property because that is your property tumhi ek pustak lili tumhi ek navin design create kela tumhi ek navin car cha model create kela tumhi ek navin kai tari avishkar kela so you don't want to lose money kana kai je kai tumhi karta hai na tyacha var tumhi investment karta hai और वो इन्वेस्टमेंट रिटर्न चाहिए सबको उसकी और अगर आपका जो आविष्कार है या जो कुछ भी आपने किया है वो दूसरे आदमी ने कॉपी करना शुरू कर दिया वेर आर यू वेर मेहमान वो आदमी पैसा कमा लेगा उससे आप नहीं कमा पाएंगे 
so there is an organization called world trade organization i'll just uh, share my screen i'll just share a whiteboard the organization's name is world trade organization that is in short it is called wto now is organization ne rights jo hai logo ke protect karne rakhe now मैं बीच बीच में शेयर करता रहूंगा आपको स्क्रीन ऐसे नौ ये राइट्स जो हैं पीपल हैव डिवाइडेड दीज राइट्स देर आर फोर टाइप्स ऑफ राइट्स विच आर जनरल राइट्स कॉपी राइट्स पेटेंट्स ट्रेडमार्क्स एंड ट्रेड सीक्रेट्स लेकिन ये जो है ये आया कैसे लॉन्ग बैक ऑन दिस स्टार्टेड इंटेलेक्चुअल प्रॉपर्टी इट वॉज समाइम डेवलप्ड इन सेवनटीन और एटीन सेंचुरी and people started using it somewhere in 19th century but it became popular in late 20th century now what is the purpose of this why do you need intellectual property rights it is actually अगर मान लो आपने कोई आविष्कार किया या आपने कुछ बनाया उसको कोई दूसरा कॉपी करके ले गया और उसने उससे पैसा कमा लिया आप डिस्करेज हो जाते हैं फिर दूसरा कुछ ऐसा करने का आपका मूड नहीं होता है सो इट इज टू इनकरेज दीज न्यू क्रिएशन इंक्लूडिंग टेक्नोलॉजी रहेगी आर्टवर्क रहेगा इन्वेंशन रहेगी और समथिंग दैट माइट इंक्रीज इकोनॉमिक ग्रोथ इट एक्चुअली इंटेलेक्चुअल प्रॉपर्टी राइट्स दे इंक्रीज द इंसेंटिव फॉर इंडिविजुअल्स दे इंकरेज देम टू प्रोड्यूस थिंग्स that may further create job opportunities or uh, and new technologies or it will enable world to improve and uh, evolve even faster so and if you have developed something and you have your own intellectual property rights for that you have a right for a copyright or trademark or uh, trade secret or anything and you get it fir usko koi agar copy karega to that person has to give you royalty royalty that you have to decide ki royalty kya honi chahiye यू मे डिसाइड कि ओके रॉयल्टी एक रुपए की चाहिए मुझे और यू मे डिसाइड कि मुझे रॉयल्टी एक लाख रुपए की चाहिए कोई और अगर मेरा डिजाइन यूज करता है यू गेट दैट मनी एंड इट इज इलीगल टू कॉपी एनी बडीज इन्वेंशन और थिंग आई स्टिल रिमेंबर इन एटीज जब कैसेट्स नए नए आए थे म्यूजिक कैसेट्स पीपल यूज टू पायरेट देम 
आज भी म्यूजिक म्यूजिक की मूवीज की इन सब की पायरेसी होती है वॉट इज इज कि वो इलीगल उसकी कॉपीज बनाते हैं और उसको डिस्ट्रीब्यूट करते हैं सो नाउ इफ द पर्सन हैज ऑलरेडी अप्लाइड फॉर अ पेटेंट फॉर एनी इन्वेंशन और इज टेकन अ कॉपी राइट टू अ पर्टिकुलर म्यूजिक or a to a particular movie now that after that if anybody duplicates it or us aadmi ko pata chalta hai ki kaun duplicate kar raha hai to the person can file a case against them so that he gets whatever the money the court decides or whatever compensation the court decides so intellectual property right is extremely important for your any invention or anything now there is a little complication in this say uh for a traditional property like land or goods or building or anything लैंड ओनर क्या कर सकता है कि उसका जो लैंड है ही कैन सराउंड इट विद फेंस और पर्सन कैन हायर गार्ड्स टू प्रोटेक्ट इट लेकिन किसी ने कोई एक इंफॉर्मेशन है अ प्रोड्यूसर ऑफ एन इंफॉर्मेशन और लिटरेचर द पर्सन कैन डू वेरी लिटिल टू स्टॉप देयर फर्स्ट बायर फ्रॉम replicating it and selling it at a lower price suppose maine ek book likhi hai main us book ko maine copyright nahi diya main us book ko sell karna chahta hu 100 rupees mein ek aadmi ne meri book purchase kar li now what he does it wo uski copies bana ke उसको सौ रुपए की जगह पचास रुपए में सेल करता है नाउ वेयर एम आई मुझे क्या मिलेगा कुछ नहीं मैंने इतनी मेहनत करके बुक लिखी सब कुछ किया मेरा टाइम गया मेरी एनर्जी गई सब कुछ गया लेकिन आई वॉज एबल टू सेल ओनली वन कॉपी बट इफ आई गेट द कॉपी राइट ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर बुक then the person who has bought my book he cannot make copies he cannot replicate the book and sell it at a lower price now here there are some few things that uh, come into picture now first let us see one thing कि ये जो है इंटेलेक्चुअल प्रॉपर्टी राइट्स इसमें क्या क्या इंक्लूडेड है लेट मी जस्ट शेयर द व्हाइट बोर्ड नाउ व्हाट इज इंक्लूडेड इन दिस इज वन इज योर पेटेंट देन व्हाट is included is your copyright patent then uh, copyright bar nikal la full love kar tu ye kar ekar after please mute your microphone patent then you have copyright then you have industrial design rights industrial design rights then you have your trademarks i'll explain everything one by one then you have plant variety rights if you have developed some new species of any plant then you have trade dress
and you have geographical indications. I'll explain everything one by one. So these are and mainly uh, the different types of uh, they are divided in normally they divided in four parts that is uh, your uh, patent and uh, design and plant and tra trademark copyrights and trade secrets Now, here when you come, normally people say, somewhere it, they say ki it is divided in four copyright, patent, designs, trademarks, but the one which I have just given you, that is actually the extensions also. Some of the government, they allow different things some of the government they don't allow all but internationally they all are marked it is at copyright patent designs trademarks your uh, plant variety rights trade dress now what is patent it is Patent is actually a form of right granted by any government to an inventor or their successor. Now, to give that this gives the owner the right to exclude orders from making, using, selling or offering to sell and importing an invention for a limited period of time. Remember, when you are filing for a patent, it is for a limited period of time. You cannot have it for the rest of your life. It is time bound. After that particular time, Anybody can uh, use that and anybody can make uh, changes and invent. Now, invention is what? Any avishkar. avishkar kelas. It is a solution to a specific technological problem. It may be a product or a process and generally has to fulfill three main requirements. जब आप पेटेंट डिजाइन के लिए जाएंगे ना तो तीन रिक्वायरमेंट्स आपको कंप्लीट करनी पड़ती हैं एक इट शुड बी न्यू सेकंड इट शुड नॉट बी ऑब्वियस कि हां ये ऐसा तो पहले भी हुआ है एंड देयर नीड्स टू बी एन इंडस्ट्रियल एप्लीकेबिलिटी मैंने कुछ ऐसा बनाया है कि जिसकी कोई एप्लीकेबिलिटी नहीं है कोई इंडस्ट्री यूज ही नहीं करेगी उसका कोई मुझे भी उसका यूज समझ नहीं आ रहा है आई विल नॉट बी एबल टू गेट द पेटेंट फॉर दैट इट इज नॉट वट यू हैव इट इन माइंड इट इज उसका यूज क्या है इट इज एक्चुअली एन ऑब्लिगेशन फॉर पेटेंट ओनर्स टू डिस्क्लोज वेल्यूएबल इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट देयर इन्वेंशन टू द पब्लिक यू कैन नॉट do ki i want the patent but i will not tell about this to anybody nahi maine alexander graham ban ne telephone banaya but everybody is using telephone now after that the people started the development nay nay models banaye nay nay tarike use kiye nay nay everything unhone use kiya but they have to disclose it to the public ki this is my invention agar ग्राम बेल डिस्कोर्ट क्लोज नहीं करता कि ये टेलीफोन क्या काम करता है 
क्या यूज था उसका कुछ नहीं था देन यू हैव अ कॉपी राइट कॉपी राइट किस चीज के लिए होता है कि इट अप्लाइज टू अड वेरी वाइड रेंज ऑफ क्रिएटिव इंटेलेक्चुअल और आर्टिस्टिक फॉर्म्स और वर्क मैंने एक बुक लिखी है मैंने एक लोगो डिजाइन किया है सो so, वो जो है दैट कम्स अंडर द कॉपी राइट कि अब ये मेरा लोगो कोई कॉपी नहीं कर सकता मैंने एक वेबसाइट डिजाइन की अब वो मेरी अपनी डिजाइन है आई डोंट वॉन्ट एनी बडी टू कॉपी दैट वेबसाइट आई टेक अ कॉपी राइट फॉर दैट This copyright does not cover ideas. It does not cover information only. It is only the form or manner in which they are expressed. This copyright gives the creator of an original work exclusive rights to it. that means only this person can use this i give you an example air india ka logo hai maharaja wala aise hath jod ke khada hai air india has a copyright nobody can nobody else can use that logo mcdonalds uska logo facebook उसका लोगो ट्विटर सो दे हैव देयर कॉपीराइट्स ऑन दैट सो नो बडी कैन यूज ऑन दैट नो बडी कैन यूज इट इफ यू ट्राई टू यूज दैट मैकडोनाल्ड कैन स्यू यू फॉर एनी अमाउंट ऑफ मनी दे वॉन्ट एंड यू विल हैव टू पे now then you have as i the just said you have industrial design rights now what is that sometimes the people they call it just design rights or design patent or uh, any any there are number of names they have been given by the people it protects the visual design of object an industrial design can have a creation of a shape configuration or composition of pattern or colors a combination of pattern or uh, you may have create, uh, created a pattern or color in a three dimensional form containing some aesthetic values or whatever it is i mean a car ka ek naya model design kar so that goes under industrial design rights it can be two dimensional or three dimensional pattern it used to produce a product industrial commodity or any handicraft even generally if we see it is what makes a product look appealing and as such when the product is appealing it increases the commercial value of goods ab aapne dekha hoga ki bahut sari gaadiyan hain jinki alag alag si shape hoti hai aur us shape ki wajah se the car is selling because it is giving that car the commercial value only that shape that particular color or the way the door opens or any any anything so that comes under industrial design rights then you have plant varieties number of plant breeders they what they do is ata tumhi bagitle asal गुलाबाचा फूल 
आधी लाल रंगाच्या असायची एकच साईज असायची आता पन्नास व्हरायटीज आहे आणि तसंच आंबा पन्नास व्हरायटीज आहे बिकॉज प्रांत ब्रिटर्स दे ऑल्सो कीप ऑन एक्सपेरिमेंटिंग टू क्रिएट अ न्यू व्हरायटी ऑर न्यू थिंग any breeder who wants he can uh, have that plant breeders right or plant variety right whatever you call it they are the rights actually to commercial use a new variety of a plant me ek navin develop kela gulaba cha i don't want anybody else to sell that i can sell it commercially so what i'll do is main usko plant varieties mein jaake government se uske rights le lunga and then even if somebody has bought a thing from me he cannot reproduce it for selling but normally the plant breeder say they are fed kare उनको इसके बारे में मालूम नहीं है इन राइट्स के बारे में सर दे डोंट केयर अबाउट दिस बट एवरीबडी शुड नो दीज देन यू गेट अ ट्रेडमार्क ट्रेडमार्क आय थिंक तुम्हाला सर्वांना माहिती असेल की व्हॉट अ ट्रेडमार्क इज इट इज अ रिकॉग्नाइजेबल साईन डिझाईन और एक्सप्रेशन इट मे बी अ लोगो it may be anything which distinguishes products or services of a particular trader from similar products or services of other traders at a mobile phone day at a mobile phone made ek ane ek apna samsung ta ek vegla hai oppo ta vegla hai नोकियाच्या वेगळ्या आहे त्यांनी आपले आपले एक ट्रेडमार्क बनवले दे गेट दॅट रजिस्टर्ड सो नाव वन्स दे गेट इट रजिस्टर्ड नो बडी कॅन कॉपी दॅट विदाउट देअर परमिशन अँड इफ समबडी कॉपीज स्यू अँड देन ट्रेड ड्रेस it is not a trade dress actually is not the dress that you have designed it actually is a legal term for art that generally refers to characteristics of the visual and aesthetic appearance of a product or its packaging or even the design of a building that signifies the source of the product to consumers so it is that is trade dress it is not that tumi je kai suit galavta hai kiwa shirt pan je galavta hai techa it is not that dress ha yes that dress also comes into this category or तुम्ही एक काहीतरी नवीन पॅकेजिंग बनवली से फॉर एक्झाम्पल तुम्ही एक नवीन सूट केस डिझाईन केला दॅट ऑल्सो कम्स अंडर दिस ओनली बिकॉज सूट केस इज अ पॅकेजिंग मटेरियल देन यू गेट ट्रेड सिक्रेट नाव वॉट इज अ ट्रेड सिक्रेट इट इज ऍक्च्युअली अ फॉर्म्युला or practice or process or design or any instrument or pattern or a combination of information which is not generally known or ascertainable by which a business can obtain an economic advantage over competitors and consumers it may be 
say, a factory who is producing bottles. Now, they have come out with a new design of a bottle. Okay, fine, they have patented it. It is their own design. But the process through which they make that bottle, that is their own trade secret. What material they use in that bottle, it is their own trade secret. Which formula they are using, what practice they are doing, what instruments and other things they are using inside the factory, outside public does not know it. So, a manufacturer of any of that bottle, he can, he has the rights for this trade secrets. That is the trade secret rights. And now what are the benefits of this? First, as I am telling for the past half an hour, nobody can copy it without your permission. Illegally, people do that and uh, they get sued also. And they have to pay money through their nose. Now, what are the financial incentives? These, see, the people who have these exclusive rights, they these exclusive rights actually allow owners of intellectual property to benefit from the property they have created. Providing a financial incentive for the creation of an investment in intellectual property and in case of a patent, pay associated research and development costs. And these rules, they differ from country to country. In India, the rules are different. In uh, other places, in United States, in uh, UK, in uh, Canada, in Australia, the rules may be a little different. But there are some common rules which are applied to every country. Now, in the United States, I give you an example. Uh, they have a clause in articles, in articles they have clause, section, sub-clause, that is the legal uh, way of writing a document. They call it the patent and copyright clause. What it says is that uh, the Congress have power to promote the progress of science and useful arts by securing a limited time to authors and inventors the exclusive rights to their respective writings and discoveries. So, as I said, it is a time bound. You cannot have for your whole life. So it is actually bind people are bound not to use anything that is already the person who has created a patent or trademark or any other right. There is an organization, is uh, World Intellectual Property Organization. They have a treaty and they have made a several international agreements that the production of intellectual property rights is essential to maintain economic growth. Why these intellectual property laws were created, this WIPO, that is World International this Organization. So they give two reasons for intellectual property laws. One is 
to give statutory expression to the moral and economic rights of the creator, the person who has made it in their creations and the rights of the public in access to those creations. Second is to promote what? As a deliberate act of the government policy, creativity and the dissemination and application of its results. Now, if a person is creative, he has created something new, maybe a pen or maybe a pencil, something like this. He has created new. Why the person should not be protected? Why the other people should be allowed to copy his or her invention? So, if somebody copies, the person will be discouraged. So, it is the application of the result and to encourage fair trading. Then now, when it is a fair trading, it is definitely going to contribute to economy and uh, social development. Then you have a morality. There is a universal declaration of human rights. You go to human rights. I am I'm not going to go into detail of that. That is article, I think article 27 that says that everyone has a right to the protection of the moral and material interest resulting from an, any scientific, literary or artistic production of which he or she is the author. I have the right to protect myself. You have the right to protect yourself. You have the right to protect your inventions or your creations. Why should anybody use your creativity without paying you anything? That is what it means. So, uh, not uh, very thing. Now, there are infringements also. That is means violation of intellectual property rights. That is called infringement. Is the violation of intellectual property rights. With respect to patents, copyrights and trademarks. And misappropriation with respect to trade secrets. It may be the breach of civil law or they may go to criminal law, depending on the type of intellectual property involved. It depends on the jurisdiction and the nature of the action. Now, there was a time, approximately somewhere in uh, 2010, 11, 12, something, that trade in counterfeit copyrighted and trademarked means duplicacy, piracy, was six hundred billion dollar industry. That's huge money. And you have then that was the time somewhere in uh, early 20th century because of these things these laws were made. They have Patent infringement, copyright infringement, trademark infringement, trade secrets. There are a number of things. Now, the question comes, K 
के वॉट आर द इंटेलेक्चुअल प्रॉपर्टी राइट एज वी आर इन इंडिया सो वॉट आर द इंटेलेक्चुअल प्रॉपर्टी राइट इन इंडिया I give you an example. India is one of the UK's priority overseas markets. So now. there are there were many conventions held now what is the system in india i am not going to those uh, paris convention and uh, these all those conventions where they keep on discussing about these intellectual property rights come out with some new law come out that is bound to happen in india for uh, ipr you have a copyright india is actually a signatory to the berne convention on copyright it is always a good idea to register your copyright because by doing so it will help you to prove ownership if there are any criminal proceedings against infringers it is the you have the copyright office it it ministry of commerce and industry they deal with it now after that the ministry of uh, commerce and industry created a department for industrial properties and promotion now all iprs now are administered by dipp that is department for industrial property and promotion internal piracy of firm music game software this is an issue in in india and is unauthorized copying of physical books so if you have done something you can approach this department of industrial property and promotion patent rights india has its patent act of 1970 2003 patent rules and 2016 patent amendment rules so here also it is you have to approach the regulatory authority for patents and that office is uh, office of the controller general of patents designs and trademarks same under ministry of commerce and industries in india patents are actually valid for 20 years from it is say your patent may get approved the approval may take 6 months the approval may take 1 year but this patent will be valid from the date of filing the application and there is an uh, annual renewal fee for the patent no it is no for example what happens is you may ask me a question ki me pan hit banavla tene pan hit banavla patent kona che nao registered hona hai first to file patent sathi koni adhi apply kela hai te che nao var patent registered hona hai then you have the design act 2000 and design rules 2001 to they are governing designs it is uh, there is you have designed something new it may be anything so you have to get that registration under design act 2000 and the design rules 
that designs are valid for a maximum of 10 years. You can renew for another five years. You cannot have that designs in your name forever. That is not possible. Then you have your trademarks. It is the law, Trademark Act and Trademark Rules of 2002 and 2017. There were some changes made in 2017. It is the same Controller General of Patent Design and Trademarks under the Department of Industrial Policy and Product Promotion. They have given more powers, more robust powers in enforcing trademark laws. Trade names also constitute a form of trademark in India. Suppose I have a trade name ABC and Company and I got a trademark for that. So nobody can use my trade name. If I have not registered, anybody can use. Now, then you have how to, what is the registering and enforcing intellectual property rights in India? First, you should to enjoy most of the intellectual property rights. In India, you should register them. For patents, it, they must be made in India. For trademarks, you should register them within India. For copyright, no registration is required. But registering copyrights with the copyright authorities, I'll advise you. As said, you can write copyright book is copyrighted, this is copyrighted. But I'll advise you to register that copyright with the copyright authorities. Priority rights, they can help in the local registration of trademark, design and patents. Then you have, now, who is enforcing these uh, IP rights? They can be enforced by bringing actions to the civil court or through criminal prosecution. Indian IP law, it actually sets out procedure for both civil and criminal proceedings. Same is the Competition Act. But criminal proceedings, remember, do not apply to patent and design infringements. Barring these two, the criminal proceedings are applied to all other IP rights. Now, the disadvantage of civil litigation is, you know, in, here, in, in India, is that you are unlikely to recover large damages and punitive damages against an infringers are rare. Now, if you have an identified infringer, it may be as advisable to launch civil lit litigation because if an interim injection is granted. The infringement can be halted pending the outcome of the case. Now, what does that mean? This means that if you have civil litigation in the company, ke, us admi ke, us party ke against, this is a breach of your rights, hai, IP rights. So, और आपको इंटरिम इंजंक्शन मिलता है मतलब कोर्ट आपको बोल देगा कि जब तक ये कोर्ट में केस चल रहा है तब तक 
वो आदमी उसको यूज नहीं कर सकता नौ इंडियन गवर्नमेंट ब्रिंग्स एक्शन इन क्रिमिनल केसेस बट इन मोस्ट केसेस एक्शन फॉलो कंप्लेन्ट टू मजिस्ट्रेट और पुलिस अथॉरिटीज बाई राइट ओनर्स so now if you are filing a criminal proceedings against somebody for infringement then the remedies may be harsher including fines or imprisonment it depends on uh, the magistrate whatever the decision the person takes no number of problems that are faced in every country when you are dealing with the iprs it is with every country i am not uh, there are a lot of details that are available what to avoid all these problems what you should do is you should always take advice from an indian ip rights expert initially only at an early stage and how to, on how to protect your ip you know prevention is better than cure consult publications and websites on indian ip rights and protections take professional advice from other experts say for example lawyers chamber of commerce talk to other businesses already doing similar business consult agents distributors suppliers check with the trademark or uh, patent attorneys to see whether they have uh, been previously registration of your own mark or something now there are you can go to the department of international trade in india or you can uh, go to chamber of commerce there are the different chambers and partners website they have and uh, you can uh, go to those website and then you can get a list of those now the most important thing what is the cost of patent registration don't think if you have done something you have uh, invested something me kai navi navi namaskar kela hai new ani ata tumhala tela patent karay you can go through normal route there are factors which are <coughs> which affects the total cost you are going through an attorney a lawyer or you are uh, doing it by yourself whatever the way you want everything involves money it will be involving the government fees there are two uh, elements for getting patent or filing patent uh, in india the government fees for forms request and renewals and the professional charges for patent professionals they may be agent patent agents or patent attorneys you have to search first ke the patent which you are trying to register is not already been registered by anybody for a normal uh, you can file directly you can file an application for search directly at the patent office by paying some government fees that is much less than 
when you hire an attorney. Normally, attorney charges for a novelty sir somewhere around ten thousand to fifteen thousand. Then you have to draft your patent, and that costs you somewhere around fifteen thousand to thirty-five thousand. Provisional patent application is around fifteen thousand. Then complete patent application is somewhere around twenty thousand. Then directly going for complete patent application without going for provisional patent application is thirty thousand. So there you say five thousand. Government fee is somewhere between sixteen uh, hundred to eight thousand rupees. It depends on uh, what kind of a patent. You are doing. You are an inventor. You are uh, what? It depends on the kind of patient uh, you have. So now, I hope you get an idea about uh, what IPR is and uh, what are the types of IPRs and how to. protect your rights now in case you have any questions regarding anything you can uh, just simply contact me i'll just delete this you can simply contact me either on uh, asian college number or i'll give you my number also it is you can call me contact me on this number or else you can send me a mail if you have any problem So you can note down uh, both these things, my number as well as uh, my mail ID. And in case of uh, any problems, or if you want some more information on this, right, and uh, other things, you can. You are most welcome. Right? Chalo. Bye bye. any question anybody has no no chalo bye bye